Hi, this is Lee Garrett, and welcome to another edition of Screencast Online. I've been looking forward to being in a position to do this video for a long time. Now, as most of you will know, I'm heavily into productivity, and using the right task manager can help you achieve so much if you have the right processes behind you. And the one that I use for both my home and personal tasks is OmniFocus. Now, it's recently upgraded to OmniFocus version 4, and it has been a long time coming. However, I do think it's worth the wait, and any thoughts that I had about jumping ship because of that wait have now gone. Now, today I'm going to primarily cover the changes that OmniFocus 4 provides. I won't be doing a detailed overview of how to use OmniFocus. We've covered OmniFocus in detail in some previous videos, namely 783 and 789 for the Mac, as well as shows 747 for iOS. So if you want to know the full detail of OmniFocus and not just the recent changes, I urge you to check these out as the premise is still largely the same. Also, our good friend Tim Stringer is the founder of Learn OmniFocus, a website that I still use regularly to keep my OmniFocus skills up to date. And you'll see details on this resource later in the video. Okay, before we look at those changes, I do think it's important to check the pricing out because since we released the previous OmniFocus 3 videos, the pricing model has changed. Now I'm on the OmniFocus product page here at the Omni Group, and I'll click on pricing where our pricing options are presented. Now you can have a subscription. It's $10 per month, which gets you OmniFocus on all of the supported platforms. So that's macOS, iOS, iPadOS, and watchOS as well. And you can also use OmniFocus on the web for $5 per month. Now this is useful if you need to work cross-platform especially. Now I've used this before when I had to work in a Windows environment. And whilst it's not as feature rich as the native client, it does work well. Now you may be more tempted by the traditional purchase, of course, over here, especially if you're upgrading from a previous version. So the standard edition is just under $75 and the pro version just under $150. So certainly not pocket change. I do appreciate that completely. However, if you're upgrading from OmniFocus 3, as I was, you do get 50% off of that purchase price. And the gap between OmniFocus 3 and 4 was just over five years. So I guess that means for the pro version, you could equate my cost as being around $30 per year. Now, is the pro version of OmniFocus for you? Well, if I click on compare features, what we have here is not sadly a traditional column view of the features side by side. Instead, at the top, you can see all of the standard features that you get. So if we just come all the way down here to the pro features, Let's take a look at what's not included in the standard version. So focus mode, first of all, where you can zero in on just one or several projects or tags. This can be extremely useful. And you can see now that this comes to the iPhone and iPad as well in version four. Now, custom perspectives for me is the big one where you can be really granular in how you filter your tasks, projects and tags that you want to see. Now, this is why I use the pro version and I will show you the new way of setting up custom perspectives on all of the platforms as well in this video. Also, there are now additional forecast features, which we will look at. And the pro version has the ability to leverage automation. And that's not something that we're covering today. However, it's definitely something that I'm thinking about for a future video. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS-related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone, and even your Apple TV using the members-only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit screencastsonline.com today and become a Screencasts Online member.